What up? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? And yeah, baby. I say yeah, baby. Sugar hips, welcome to the squadron. No homo. We are about to go on ahead and get Walter Sweetness Peyton. Now, I have made a killing, as you're about to see right here, selling badges at ridiculous prices. I had uh, close to 500 badges, and I sold all of them. All of them. I was going to do flashback packs. I was going to do um, uh, quick sales. Oh, you know, let me let me just sell all of them. Look, 32, 3300 uh, per gold badge. I sold close to two. I made uh, I made over two hundred thousand coins selling bronze badges. Yes, selling bronze badges. There, they go for twelve hundred a pop. And after the EA tax, that's one thousand eighty coins, man. I sold 192 of them. I uh, I transferred all my silvers into golds because go five silver badges don't equal up to the amount of one gold badge. One gold badge I'm able to sell for 3,200. Silver badge is going for about 500, 550. So you do the math, five and five, that's about you know 25, little under 3,000. So I transferred all those into gold badges and I sold all of them. All of them. I made a killing in these badges, man. A killing. Look at all these badges we sold, man. Um, if anybody wonder, like, you know, how we got to, uh, you know, that's just how that happened. Because we were killing. And I uh, actually played some wagers yesterday, too. I won, I think I played, like, three wagers, and we won all three of them. I won one wager for 75K, another wager for 50K, and another wager for 91 Aaron Rodgers, who was going for uh, 180, 180K. And that's my biggest wager of the year so far. And we won that one, too. Um... So yeah, let's go on ahead and finish the set. And I also sold Curtis Martin. Now this set right here cost me a little under. Uh, this card is expensive. Uh, let me go to history. Dang, it's not showing on my history. Dang it! It showed me a. It was a little over a little over 900k. Uh, but I sold Curtis Martin yesterday. So that right there was two. I got uh, like 190k. So basically, that took 200k away from this set because I was able to sell Curtis Martin, and uh, so that you know brings the price to about 700k. And uh, hey, you get almost 10k for finishing the solo and the set. So about 690k. Yeah, I'm counting. To, I'm counting to 10k, baby. I'm counting. It. So a little under 700k, we're able to you know get this card. And uh, this card looks flat out disgusting. I am so excited to get. Hold on, hold on. Let me hit the B button. Let me hit the B button. Let me. Hit, oh, sweetness! I said sweetness. Now, unfortunately, this, he was before my time. Uh, I was born in '87, so I never got to see him play. I definitely seen highlights. And you talk to anybody who's seen this guy play, and they say he's one of the goats, like easily, if not the best of all time. Even though when you talk to you know uh the old heads of uh the football you know life you know when they about that life back you know back in the days uh majority of people say jim brown matter of fact you guys got parents man um uh, well most of you guys should have uh well not most probably i don't know i don't know what the statistics are but if you have a dad or an uncle or if you have a father figure in your life or a male role model you know because i didn't i don't have anybody else i didn't have a dad so i think uh statistically i would i would think uh are you more statistic to be a, a single parent or not? I don't know. Or, or living in a I don't know. I don't know. But if you have a dad or an uncle, somebody older than you, ask them, man. I think most of them say Jim Brown. If they seen him play, most of them say that boy, that boy Jim Brown, the truth. Uh, yeah, but we got Walter Payton. Man. Let's go on ahead and... Wow, I can't even do a comparison. Forget you, Electronic Arts. But we got this Walter Payton, man. I'm really excited. Uh, he will be taking over Marshawn Lynch's spot as soon as uh, he demorphosizes. <clears throat> right now, Marshawn ain't going nowhere. With with you know him being 99 overall, with him being 99 overall, he ain't going nowhere. With him being having 95 speed, 99 carrying, 100 charging, he ain't going nowhere. But once he demorphosizes, is then uh, we're going to sweetness. So the backups are gonna be is gonna be uh, sweetness, Marshawn Lynch, LT, and then I'm on Green. Uh, so let's go on ahead and put Walter Payton right here. Now let's go on ahead and do some comparisons. So uh, we got Marshawn Lynch right here, but you know can't really do a comparison since he's morphed. Uh, we compare it to LT, a little bit more speed, a little less agility, same acceleration, less carrying, 
uh, same ball carry vision, a little less of looseness, way more trucking, a little bit more juking, and a ton more strength. Now, I learned from Marshawn Lynch that that strength does matter because Marshawn's strength is so, he's so strong and that I think that definitely helps out with the ability to fall forward. Now, 94 speed plus one speed may not seem like that much, but Clayton Portis was 94 speed and he felt so much faster than LaDainian Thomason. Clayton Portis is one of the best running backs in the game. I think Clayton Portis is better than LaDainian Thomason just for the fact that that plus one speed just makes him take off so much and if he's anywhere close to clinton sport of speed then walter payton now will become the best running back in the game followed by marshawn lynch because marshawn is a goon but uh he has 90 speed but i think the one two punch of walter and marshawn lynch is going to be devastating and our third down back is going to continue to be lt because his catching has you know always been good um at 86 so he's definitely somebody i could count on if i'm in a third and two situation if i got to pass the ball definitely want lt to be in the backfield and then Amon green probably won't see too much uh playing time he's just basically here until another running back comes along and then he's you know he's he's out of there but uh <coughs> let's go on ahead and put walter at the number two spot and uh <coughs> excuse me you guys won't see any gameplay unless you guys follow my stream but you guys won't see any gameplay until I upload until um, until I finish the current season. You know, the video before this, you guys see I upload a week four of that season. Once I'm done with that season, then I'll get gameplay with Gronk, uh, Dez, Walter Payton, and whatnot. So definitely really, really excited to go on ahead and play with this card, man. I am actually think I'm about to go on Twitch in a little bit and uh, try and get some wagers in and, you know, see how he, see how he does. Uh, like I said, I'm definitely starting Marshawn. He's not going anywhere until he shrinks back down. No homo. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to give him some test runs. You know, my backup usually gets a good, especially with Marshawn Lynch being, uh, what's his stamina? I should check that out while I'm here, too. His stamina is disgustingly low. Like, after two runs, he's tired. Let me take a look. Let's take a look at sweetness of stamina too. Stamina is very important. 99. Yeah, that's a lot. 97 stamina for uh, Walter Payton. Now, I love, for the first time ever, I have multiple running backs. And I've never done this before this year. And stamina, to me, matters more than ever. Because recently, whenever uh, I noticed before, you could have, you know, your running back would be red. But he would still have that same speed. You know, but now, this year, oh, it's so, it's, you know, if your running back is yellow, if you do, you know, a few tosses in a row, on that third, fourth toss, you have damn near no speed because you're so tired. So I definitely like being able to uh, switch in backs because you guys know I, I love the running ball. You know, I'm probably, my ratio is probably like 75 rushing, you know, to 25 uh, passing. You know, so having these bags definitely helps out a lot. You know, I can go from Marshawn to LT to Amon to, you know, now it's going to be Walter to Marshawn and, you know, maybe, you know, sneaking a few LT runs here and there. So it definitely helps out a lot. But I'm really, really so excited. Like I said, we got this card, 900K. We sold Curtis Martin to, to get a spot for him. So that brought us down to about 700K. So for about 700K, we got Walter Payton. Right now, he's on the auction block for a little over a million um i think that's the last upgrade we got except for sterling sharp but i've yet to see him under a mill and that price is absolutely utterly ridiculous you know for a 94 receiver to have 90 speed he, he's not really tall like a calvin johnson that card is going to be 400k at some point soon i'll just wait um i'll finish the season without him there's no way i'm paying that much for him i refuse but um i also want to get uh t sizzle i want to get terrell suggs to back up freeney and then uh, I have a few spots because I sold um, I sold Richard Sherman and I sold Sean Smith. I kept both of them because I would put them at safety. But I don't run that cover zero blitz anymore. I just keep Eric Berry and Dawkins when I do go to my quarters formation up top now. So uh, that doesn't say. So I want to get uh, 93 Suggs, most feared Suggs, to back up Porter. Um, and I think that's it for now. I think that's it but yeah man we got sweetness i'm really excited man i had him last year and he was phenomenal and i can't wait to see how good he is this year and a few people told me they had him in draft champions and he was amazing so i can't wait to try it out myself that's the end of the video fellas hopefully you guys enjoy it's your boy gs man we got sweetness baby we're gonna go on ahead and sign out